rise and shine everyone my name is Yusuf in today's video we will be hauling crushed cars there's supposed to be 12 of them so they will stack it four at a time there are so many loud trucks over here hopefully you don't mind it so they will stack it four at a time currently I'm doing my pre-trip before I hit the road obviously I did my post trip yesterday but I'm just double checking the lights just to make sure the lights are working let's see uh, I already checked it I'm just doing it for the video <laughs> so yeah all the lights are working before i hit the road i always check my route make sure everything looks good on the route and make sure that i know where i'm going so this is where we're going now let's go ahead and sc screen record i guess there you go uh where is google maps there you go this is where i'm going <sighs> looks like before I start driving, I always check my route and this is my current de destination, which is where I'll be picking up a load of crushed cars. I'm currently right here, as you can see. So I'll be taking 465 around Indianapolis and then I will take 36 Rockville Road and then I'll make a right or go north on North Raceway. So this is the place where i'm picking up but as you can tell you can't really see where the entrance is for this particular shipper so because i'm unsure so i'll go ahead and exit out of here and then put a pin i have a feeling that the uh, the northern entrance is the uh, actual entrance for trucks in the the bottom two are for just the uh, automobiles i guess so i'll put a pin over here and then I will use Google image where is it right here yeah so this looks like to be the uh, shipping and receiving a little tight but as you can see over here it says shipping and receiving so always check your uh, Google Maps from the satellite as well as Google image that way you don't come to that entrance right there and make a left and then find out that's uh, for cars only so that's what uh, we need to do otherwise let's say if you miss it miss your entrance go ahead go around the block uh, or call them and say hey where where is your en truck entrance or better better be safe than sorry call them ahead of time if you couldn't figure out when you're doing your own research call them ahead of time and ask them what is the uh, where exactly is the uh, truck entrance so they open at 8 and it's currently 7.50 so we still have 10 more minutes but I will go ahead and put all my chains and binders on the deck that way we're not wasting their time or my time this these are the chains that I bought 100 bucks each each chain so I got four of them $400 I remember this used to be like $54 or maybe like $45 I remember yeah $45 so the price of chains have went up 100% but somebody says that uh, inflation is only 6.7% I don't get it Hey, good morning how you doing good how about you good good i'm here to pick up a load yes um yeah. they told me between uh 11 to 1 which is okay i'm just you know apologize okay. for being a little late here yeah, but no problem. did you just get here or? yeah i just got here i told them that i'll be here between 7 and 11. oh okay he <laughs> but said it's okay to one but it's okay like i said I'll, I'll load you up okay it may just take me a little longer not much longer just get them out of the sacks and bring them in okay no problem take um, your time i'm not so, in a rush for the day anyways because Tomorrow is holiday and I can't deliver right. this load until Monday anyway, so oh, it doesn't I bother see. me at all. Okay, so you're good. fine. 
Um, what a nice guy. Do a little bit of back. This is what we have usually what they do is they put it over there and they wrap the netting around it but this time they went ahead and loaded me first and then they will they are working on wrapping it around and then well i went ahead and put my chains before and now they can take it off and we're gonna put the chains back on that way it holds the netting when i turn on the four-way flashers one of that one works and this one doesn't and it seems like there is a bad connection right here, one of them, that has come apart. So I went to TA, bought me one of the connections. I will just go ahead and have all the parts I need. I keep one of these at the truck and lots of uh, heat shrinks with different sizes. These don't really shrink that well, so we'll just uh, put this one on first. Well, we'll slide that to the wire and then heat this one up and then hit the heat shrink we should be okay i know there is a better tool to do this but i don't have it at the moment i keep wanting to buy it and i keep forgetting so this is the best i have for now i guess that could have I turned it on and there you go both of them are working they put a lot of zip ties like that so that the net doesn't uh, fly away and also they use my chain right here to put zip ties that way they put it the, they hold on to the net but usually what they do is they wrap around each bundle before they stack them that way they don't have to worry about these zip ties and now who's gonna spend more time trying to cut these zip ties at the, at the receiver me unfortunately but i am 15 minutes away from the receiver so i don't think that's gonna be a big problem i'll get there early in the morning and start cutting the these zip ties because there are too many of them on this side yeah you see all on top and all on the bottom and they have used and they didn't use every single uh single chain of mine but they did use at least five or six of them yeah that's that's the fourth and they use the, f the the first one so that's fifth fifth chain that they have zip tied around it so they that's uh when i have to spend more time anyways i ended up replacing my brakes brake shoes right here could you tell shoes and drums 
just on this one just this one right here the rest of them are fine the guy charged a hundred bucks to replace it which I think it's all right but I'm thinking here's what I'm thinking I'm thinking to buy my own jack and what else yeah I need a jack and I need a, uh, a fastener right the Milwaukee heavy duty uh, impact driver so I think I seen a deal online where they had a battery powered grease gun as well as a heavy duty Milwaukee impact driver where you could op open these lug nuts with it for like 499 they usually sell it for like 899 or something or um, 799 so I might get that because soon I'll need to replace brakes on the tra trailer and trucks maybe I don't know like within a year or so uh, I might change all the sh shoes and drums on the truck and trailer and if they charge a hundred bucks I guess per tire or like 200 bucks per axle so it's 200 400 600 and 800 so 800 dollars just for labor i think that's gonna be too much it'll be better for me to invest in a uh, in an impact driver and a jack that way i could just do it myself breakfast slash lunch slash dinner is a bowl of salad and a turkey sandwich We are all unchained. I put all of my chains and binders in the toolbox in the header crack right here and some of them in the toolbox on the passenger side. We are ready to go. We are just waiting for someone to come and get us. They said to wait here until someone comes and tells us to pull forward where that crane is or that excavator. That's where we're gonna get offloaded. So let's just wait. will do it for this video thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next one adios